from 343000 deduct 25000 you will get the balance of 318000 so deduct the discount amount you will get the balance this balance is called transaction value so for transaction value what you are supposed to do you are supposed to add gst at the rate of 18% Hello everyone I am Arun Kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management with Ashram First Grade College the Temple of Excellence Mysore dear students welcome to this new session session number 2 on unit number 5 that is valuation of goods and services under gst so dear students in the previous session we discussed about the meaning of valuation of goods and services what and all we are supposed to include and exclude for valuation of services and about the other aspects and about you know which item is sold without consideration or with consideration or partially consideration or partially not consideration about this we discussed in the last previous session so in this session we, dear students we are going to solve few problems with respect to computation of value of goods or what we say transaction value and the gst payable so this is the format for computation of value of supply of goods so if you follow this format and if you by heart or if you you know learn this format it is very easy to score 15 marks in your exam so compulsorily you will be asking 15 marks question compulsorily you will be asking 15 marks question from this particular concept that is computation of value of supply of goods and services so the format goes like this particulars amount amount or you can solve it with two columns only that is particulars amount for your convenience you can add one more column one more amount column so either you can go with particulars amount or particulars amount amount the first point always you are supposed to consider is selling price of supply so that will be given in the problem itself the selling price of supply or the selling price of the product selling price of the machinery or selling price of any supply that will be given that you are supposed to write first okay the selling price of the supply or the product or the machinery whatever given in the problem that we will be writing first for that we are going to add the expenses incurred with respect to that supply okay the expenses incurred with respect to that product machinery or supply so what and all the expenses are you know relevant to that particular supply that expenses are supposed to be added to the selling price of the supply so what and all the expenditures will be included or what and all the expenditures we are supposed to consider so here we have few expenses list that is advertising charges so if any advertising charges spent with respect to selling price of the product the product which is sold that we are supposed to consider we are supposed to add publicity charges we will supposed to add design and development charges add packing charges add service charges add freight charges add loading and unloading charges add so any expenditure incurred with respect to the supply of any product or the machinery or any you know the supply that additional expenditure are supposed to be added to the value of this selling price so for this selling price if you add all the items if you add all the expenses and if you add that with the selling price okay if you add with the selling price you will get some total okay you will get some total so what is this total is called the total is called a just a total what you will do you just you add all these expenditures and you will take it to the outer column and you total it and you will get the total less discount so from the total you are going to deduct the discount and discount always is supposed to be calculated on this value that is the selling price value so selling price will be given in the problem itself if we say 10% discount so what you will do you compute 10% discount on this value so deduct the discount amount you will get the balance this balance is called transaction value so for transaction value add gst that is cgst sgst or igst whatever the rate given 5% 12% 18% or 28% you are going to add the tax amount to the transaction value then you will get the total this total will be called as value of supply that's it so just you will be writing selling price of any supply and you are going to add the expenditures which are related to that particular selling price of supply then you total it you will get the total and from this total you are going to deduct the discount 
after deducting the discount you will get the total the total will be called as transaction value from transaction value you will be adding or to the transaction value you will be adding the gst payable and whatever the final total you will get that final total will be called as value of supply so let us solve the problem based on this particular format so from the following information compute the value of supply okay so the information goes like this selling price of supply how much yes it is 250000 next advertising charges 15000 so what we will do first we write the selling price right so advertising charges yes it is an expenditure so what we will do we will add it design and development charges it is also expenditure rupees 50000 what we will do we add this packing charges is given yes it is also an expenditure what we will do we add this next loading charges rupees 8000 it is also an expenditure what we will do we will add so for this 250 we will be adding 15000 50000 20000 and 8000 next thing allowed discount at 10 percent so what you will do with discount yes you are supposed to minus the discount okay you are supposed to minus the discount on the price of the goods which is supplied so what is the price of the goods here it is 250000 right so on 250000 what you are supposed to do on 250000 you will be computing 10 percent discount how much you will get you will be getting 25000 so this 25000 is supposed to be deducted as discount next so 25 will be deducted rate of gst is 18 percent so here they are not mentioned whether the transaction is happening within the state or between the states so if nothing is mentioned just assume it is a intra transaction that is intra state transaction or the transaction happening within the state so what gst is applicable yes it is cgst and sgst is applicable so what is the rate of gst 18 percent so 9 percent cgst 9 percent sgst totally 18 percent so let us solve the problem so computation of value of supply selling price of supply so what is the selling price of supply it is given in the problem itself the selling price of supply is 250000 so we write the selling price first 250000 for that add advertisement charges it is 15000 so add 15000 next design and development charges it is 50000 add this 50000 next packing charges yes what is the packing charges it is 20000 add packing charges 20000 and loading charges yes it is given rupees 8000 so add loading charges of rupees 8000 total this all you will get 93000 correct so add 93000 with 250000 so how much you will get you will get 343000 right so from that 343000 less discount so on what we compute discount on selling price so what is the selling price here it is 250 so discount 250000 into so what is the rate of discount yes it is 10 percent given in the problem so compute 10 percent on this how much you will get you will get 25000 correct so from 343000 deduct 25000 you will get the balance of 318000 right so 318000 will be called as transaction value correct so for transaction value what you are supposed to do you are supposed to add gst at the rate of 18 percent so here we are assuming that this is a intrastate transaction that is the transaction which is happening within the state because it is not mentioned in the problem that the transaction is happening between the state or within the state no so just assume if nothing is mentioned just assume it is a within the state transaction then cgst and sgst is applicable correct so gst is 18 percent cgst 9 percent sgst 9 percent so on 3 lakh 18 thousand correct so 3 lakh 18 thousand so on 3 lakh 18 thousand if you compute 9 percent cgst and 9 percent sgst you will get 28620 28620 total gst is 57240 rupees 
So add this GST with the transaction value, you will get the final answer 3,75,240. The 3,75,240 will be your total value of supply. 3,75,240 will be your total value of supply. So this is how you are supposed to compute the value of supply of goods and this kind of questions will be asked in the main exam for 15 marks. So it's very easy, just you are supposed to add all the expenses with respect to the selling product and less discount and add GST. That's it. You'll get 15 marks compulsory question for your exam. So let us solve one more problem. Compute the transaction value of goods under GST Act from the following information and also the GST payable. Selling price of supply that is excluding CGST and SGST. In case in selling price, if GST is already included, what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to exclude it, okay? Because we are calculating the transaction value to impose GST, no? That is why if GST is already imposed, you are supposed to exclude it. If it is not included, no need to exclude or do anything. Just we will write the amount. So, the selling price is rupees. Yes, 8 lakhs. First, we write that. Then, advertisement charges, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to add 75,000, correct? Next, design and development charges, what you are supposed to do? 20,000, add, correct? Next, publicity charges, 40,000, add. Packing charges, yes, rupees 15,000, add. Next, service charges, rupees 60,000, add. Freight charges, rupees 40,000, add. Loading charges, rupees 10,000, yes, add. Next, allowed discount, what you will do discount? Discount of 10%. You will be deducting it that is minus on the price of the goods and the rate of GST is 12 percent. So with this information you are supposed to solve the problem. So what is the format? Yes the format is very simple computation of value of supply. So here you are supposed to make three columns particulars amount amount. How many columns you are supposed to put? Three columns particulars amount and amount. So first we will be writing the selling price of supply. So what is the selling price of supply it is given in the problem? Yes, it is rupees 8 lakhs. So first we write the selling price of supply 8 lakh rupees in the outer column. Correct, in the outer column you are supposed to write the selling price of supply of rupees 8 lakhs. So for this you are supposed to add the expenditures which are related to this supply. Correct, the expenditure related to this particular supply. So, the advertising charges is given in the problem. What is the advertising charges? It is 75,000, correct? So, write the 75,000 here, add 75,000. Next, design and development charges. Yes, it is given in the problem, rupees 20,000, design and development charges. So, what you are supposed to do? Add design and development charges. Next, Publicity charges. So add this publicity charges of rupees 40,000. Next, packing charges is given in the problem. Yes, what is the packing charges? It is rupees 15,000. Correct. So add 15,000. Next, service charges 60,000. Freight charges is given rupees 40,000. Loading charges is given rupees 10,000. So add all the expenses which are written in the inner column and take that to the outer column. So the total of all these expenses is rupees 2 lakh 60,000, correct? So add the 2 lakh 60,000 with 8 lakh rupees, you will get 10 lakh 60,000. So 2 lakh 60 plus 8 lakh. So how much? It is 10 lakh 60,000. From this, from this value, deduct discount, that is less discount. So what is the discount given in the problem? Yes, discount is... 10% on the price of the goods. So what is the price of the goods here? 8 lakh rupees. Correct now. So on 8 lakh rupees compute 10%. 10% 10 on 8 lakh rupees. So how much you will get? It is 80,000. So from rupees 10 lakh 60,000. So from rupees 10 lakh 60,000 of this amount deduct 80,000 rupees of discount. What is the balance you will get? Balance is 9,80,000. So, that 9,80,000 is called 
transaction value correct so from transaction value or to the transaction value add gst so in this problem also is not mentioned that whether it's a intrastate transaction or interstate transaction so nothing is mentioned so just assume that it is a transaction happening within the state cgst and sgst is applicable so now compute gst at 18 percent gst at 18 percent so cgst 9 percent sgst 9 percent so how much you will get on 9 lakh 80,000 on 9 lakh 80,000 if you compute you will get 58,800 and 58,800 and the total is 1 lakh 17,600 how much you will get 1 lakh 17,600 then add this with 9 lakh 80,000 the total value of supply is 10 lakh 97,600 the total value of supply is 10 lakh 97,600 so this is how you are supposed to solve the problem with respect to computation of value of supply of goods under GST. So with this, I am going to wind up this session. I will come up with few more new topics. Until then, thank you all. Have a nice day. Namaste.